17 minutes past seven. Apple's charging ahead with profits. Steph's taking a look. Morning. Oh, massive numbers from Apple this morning. It's just how much money can they possibly make? Let me tell you a bit more of the details. Morning, everyone. Yeah, Apple sold over 47 million iPhones in the last three months. That's a record for the company. And the tech giant is doing so well now. It's sitting on a huge pile of cash. Let me just give you the number on this. $200 billion, that's the cash they've got in the bank. That's enough to give everyone in the world $20 each and have change left over to buy Morrison's, Sainsbury's, Tesco and m and So certainly a lot of money coming in at Apple. But its rival, Microsoft, is not doing so well. They reported a £2 billion loss for the three months to the 30th of June. A lot of that was due to the company having to write off nearly £5 billion because of the falling value of Nokia, its mobile phone business. And another story before I go, broadband providers have been accused of misleading customers over their prices. That's the claim of the charity Citizens Advice, who say broadband contracts can end up costing customers up to six times more than what the adverts promised. Now, the firm say they're not misleading customers. I will be talking more about this in about half an hour's time. And asking somebody some very tough questions about it too, we hope. Yeah, definitely. All right, Steph, thanks very much. She means business then, oh, doesn't she? Oh, she what's her, that's her job. <laughs> Does it well. <laughs> Steph, thanks very much. 19 minutes past seven. Yeah, indeed. Steph, let's talk about yeah. misleading um, and let's move <laughs> the subject on, shall that was, we? That was actually deals. my chocolate snack, <laughs> which uh, I gave up because someone needed a sugar rush. But there you go, we'll say no more about it. Uh, morning, everyone. Yeah, we're talking about broadband deals this morning and uh, the, the allegation that they are potentially misleading. Do, you know, we've talked, haven't we, before about misleading things in shops and things. It's a familiar story. You see something which looks cheap, but by the time you add in the extras you need, the deal may not be as good as it's seen. Well, this morning, Citizens Advice said broadband contracts can end up costing customers up to six times more than the adverse adverts promise. So let's start by looking at an example of this. Now, say your broadband provider advertises a deal for, let's say, £10 a month. But in the small print, you need to add in the extras, so things like connection charge or line rental. And that £10 deal might just be for a certain period of time and then it starts to go up. Now, citizens advice, so if you take an average of the total length of the contract, it can add up pretty fast. Well, with me now is James Plunkett, who is from Citizens Advice, who's done this research. Good morning to you, James. Good morning. Um, why do you think they're misleading? I think it comes down to how much of that price is hidden away in the small print, essentially. And what we've seen increasingly over recent years is that headline price has got smaller and smaller. And some of these providers are even saying their broadband is free now, essentially. But then when you look at that small print, the amount of stuff that's hidden in there has got bigger and bigger, and particularly this lime rental charge, which can be as much as £18 a month, hidden in the small print. And then we think that should be in the headline there. Um We've obviously talked to the uh, broadband providers about this. Mm. And for example, EE says, rather than being a hidden charge, we make it clear to our customers that line rental is, of course, required with all of our broadband packages. Uh, similarly, the, the other companies are saying, you know, it, people do know they have to get mm. line rental with broadband, but your argument is maybe they don't. Yeah, and I think, to be fair, the, the information is always there. It is in the small print. And I think it comes down to the fact that they're kind of abiding by the letter of the law, if you like. So technically, the information is there. They're not really misleading people in that sense. But, but really, how hard does it have to be for people to find all this information? And none of us want to spend our weekend digging through the small print of broadband providers. It mm. should just be much easier to compare these deals. So what would you want the Advertising Standards Authority to do about it? What we want essentially is that if these fees and charges like line rental are compulsory, if you can't avoid them in order to get the product, they should be in that headline. And it's a similar issue we saw with low-cost airlines a few years ago where these airlines were hiding these compulsory fees in the small print. And eventually, in that case, the Advertising Standards and its authority said you have to put all those essential fees into that headline. You can't hide them away if they're unavoidable. And we think that the same needs to happen in broadband, essentially. So if they're unavoidable fees, they need to be up there in the headline. The, the, more, the broadband providers are very defensive about this, mm. and they, they really dispute the fact that you're accusing them of being misleading. And, and for example, Plusnet says um, that their broadband, they have a broadband-only option, which means you don't have to get anything else with them. So what, what could they do? Well, I think it it's the same case in, in all cases. And to be honest, the industry's got into a bit of a race to the bottom here. And to be fair to the individual companies, it is quite hard for any one of them now to start pricing differently because essentially they're being undercut. 
by the others. And so that's why it does come down essentially to the rules that the Advertising Standards Authority sets um, that essentially say what do you need to include in that headline price and what can you get away with putting in the small print. And we just think they need to be toughened up in this case. Always read the small print. That's the key. Thank you very much for your time this morning, James. That's it for me for now. Have you finished your chocolate bar? Bill has, yes. Half of it's gone already. <laughs> I'm not naming any names as to who's had it. <laughs> All right. Steph, thank you. Good morning. Broadband providers have been accused of misleading customers with their prices. That's the claim of the charity Citizens Advice. I'll be explaining why. Record profits for Apple announced last night. Here's Steph. Yes, good morning, morning to you both. Yeah, let me tell you about some big numbers from Apple this morning. Morning, everyone. Apple sold over 47 million iPhones in the last three months. That's a record for the company. The tech giant is doing so well now that it's sitting on a huge pile of cash. Two hundred billion dollars to be honest listen to this that's enough to give everyone in the world twenty dollars each and have change left over to buy morrison's sainsbury's tesco and m s so apple is still raking in the money unlike its rival microsoft they've reported a two billion pound loss for the three months to the end of june a lot of that was due to the company having to write off nearly five billion pounds because of the falling value of nokia its mobile phone business Another story before I go, broadband providers have been accused of misleading customers over their prices. That's the claim of the charity Citizens Advice, who say contracts can end up costing customers up to six times more than what the adverts have promised. Now, the firm say that they're not misleading customers, but Citizens Advice told us this morning that the full cost of broadband shouldn't just be in the small print. It's always that advice, isn't it? Read the small print. Always. OK, Steph, thank you. Thanks. So boring the small print, that's the trouble. So important, though. <laughs> Boring but costly. <laughs> 22 minutes.